Hello, my name is Nicholas. Thank you for checking out my video. The discussion is calories in and calories out. Now, for those of you who have trained at public gyms, read different online fitness websites, we're constantly getting feedback. And I remember when I was working with different trainers, I would always hear them say, and even to me, all it is is calories in and calories out. And I actually, when I hear something, I constantly question myself. What does this actually mean? If you, let's just say, eat in excess of something, whatever it is, let's just keep it easy, and you're ingesting the standard American diet that promotes certain things we don't want. But when I hear calories in and calories out, that basically says to me, eat what you want, how you want, and leave the work up at the gym, right? <laughs> The gym does not make up the high percentage of where results are really going to happen. It's outside of the gym. How you eat your nutrition plan or the system you have in place, if you have one in place. So for example, you're one of those people who has an excess of a thousand calories. And that 1,000 calories is actually going to add eventually to a pound. Some people would say 3,500 calories makes up a pound in fat, I believe. I'm not real sure. And you think you're going to enter a gym and you're the average individual. You're not an athlete. You think that you're going to burn off, let's just say 800 calories, which will lead into a story I want to tell. I remember like five years ago, I was training outside of the state of Ohio at this gym. I don't remember what it was called, or maybe I do and I don't want to tell you. And I remember these ladies doing Zumba, Zumba. And at that time it was really popular. And they would always see me on a cardio machine. And they were really sweet ladies, and they would ask me, why are you on this cardio machine for so fucking long? She says, well, you can do this class, and you can burn that amount of calories and less time. And I said, well, how many calories are you actually burning doing this? And she said, 800 in less than 20 minutes. At that time, there were no like monitor devices that really would calculate. So people would just go by what they felt they burned. I'm spending approximately 45 to 60 minutes on this machine and touching, let's just say, 600 to 700 calories. I said to myself, how in the hell could you be doing something less intensity and all things and burn more calories? And the reality is, and we're talking about during that time, we're not talking after the fact. And the trainer at that time led them to believe that they were burning that many calories, when in reality, they were probably around 200, 300 tops. Not only that, but they were actually manipulating the weight scale, because I would stand on the scale and it would say I'm five pounds lighter. And I'm like, oh my God, I'm dehydrated, I must hydrate myself, but then I realized. But the point I'm trying to make, if you compare an athlete, now this is going to make sense, hopefully. An athlete is at a level of physicality, meaning they contain higher amounts of muscle mass. And we can talk about muscle one, muscle two fibers, but we're not going to go there. But their system, their whole body as a system is working much better at a higher capacity than the average person. And that's what I was trying to compare to. So therefore, an athlete can eat, oh my God, I was working with this one athlete, to be honest, who's consuming over 3,000 calories, a female around the height of five foot five, and her body fat is like 12 to 13 percent. But she's an athlete. She's actually putting the time and working out over three to four hours per day. And that makes sense, right? We understand that if we compare like those scenarios with different types of bodies in a sport versus someone not in a sport. Now, if you want to throw out all these trendy diets and stuff, I like to see a person over a period of time, not just when they look physically fantastic at the age of 22, because not everybody's fucking 22 years old. Usually, if you see the average person who is consuming, as I stated previously, the standard American diet, they're going to gain weight. I've seen it. 
I've done 24-hour recalls on people where basically I calculate how much they are truly ingesting versus what they think they're ingesting, and I calculate their level of physical activity by bringing them to a gym and seeing where they're at in reality versus what they think. Because if you're the average person and you think that you're going to just enter a gym and burn off the excess of whatever you're trying to do, it's fairly difficult to do. Our government even promotes that, but very few people can actually do that, even people who are trained. And when athletes come off of the sport, no longer in the sport no more, even they will tell you. <laughs> You know, they're no longer doing the calories in, calories out. They're no longer doing the types of training that really makes them the special woman or special man that they are. You understand what I'm trying to say? So you have to use common sense. When I was uh, started college and in my second year, when I was overeating and stuff, I said, oh, yeah, I'll work out, but I never got to it. And when I did, there is no way in hell I'm going to burn off the excess. I mean, it's just not realistic. Let's just keep it real. If you manage what you're doing, what you're ingesting and all things, that's a different story, right? It's then realistic. You're, you can only do so much, especially when you're in a poor physical state at the time that I was. Uh, and what I also want to note on is that I don't want to make it seem like it's all about the calories because then that would lead to a whole other video. I just wanted to use just common sense uh, scenarios that people can relate to. And I'm not all about a calorie, it's just a calorie, by the way. Because I believe when you eat different things, it will have certain effects in the body. And that comes to a whole other video that I really do want to talk about. Because there's a lot of misinformation out there. But I just want to leave it here for now. So thank you for checking me out. If you have questions, please post below or visit my official website and send me an email. Stay safe. Thanks.